Okay, I'm flattered by this onslaught of attention, really. But I've had very little to do with Johnny Z's vendetta against Sonny. Define very little? I nicked a grand total of one box of Cuban cigars for the paterfamilias. Out of pity, because he has so few vices left to indulge in. And I spend a very enjoyable afternoon with a bombshell blonde named Jennifer. Who happens to work for Bernie Abrams. Coincidence. That's bull. <laughs> you were decoying her for Zakara. No, I bought her a passion fruit smoothie, which she very much enjoyed. And that's the extent of it. I'm not buying it. I'm not working with Johnny Zakara. Well, that may be or it may not be, but the point is... Johnny is not being subtle or smart about his intentions, and everybody knows you're involved with him. You're heading down a dangerous path, Ethan. I'm on my own, okay? I give up. Oh, so now you're not going to throw me to the wolves for my own benefit? I should, <laughs> but it's your life. You get to take your own risks. But you really should get a green card. <laughs> Is this really what we've come to, Jason? Huh? Messages do go both ways. I could have shot you, but I didn't and I won't. So come at me with all the bullets, artillery, paint that you want. I'm not shooting back. I just wish you weren't doing this. What, going after Sonny? After what he did to my sister? What's it gonna take for you to let it go? Let it go, really, that's your advice, let it go? Could you let it go if it was Carly or Emily? Both of us know it, but I'm the only one saying it. Sonny's the guilty party here, not Mike. You need to understand that Sonny's tied to everybody that I care about, and he's not going down. I'm not gonna let it happen, Johnny. You keep pushing me. I'm gonna push back. What's wrong? I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, bringing my beloved non-wife into this surveillance. Certainly no. I'm going to stay by your side the whole night. I even want to spice up your night a little if we have time. I mean, this must be so boring, just hanging around hotel lobbies and corridors, spying on cheating husbands. This case is anything but boring, which is why I'm nervous about dragging you into the line of fire. Spinelli, that's so sweet of you to worry, but I don't have to be back at work for at least an hour. I pulled Fetty management. Kate has to review his entire new line, and she's not always very tactful, and Fetty is extremely sensitive. Okay, I don't think you understand. I... I'm worried about your physical safety. Oh, if I can handle Fetty in full diva mode, I can definitely deal with Chef Robert, cheater extraordinaire. I made a rhyme. I, I may have been a bit too circumspect in my efforts to not unduly alarm you, but the, the truth is, the facts of this case have taken a decidedly gruesome turn. But I thought you said you still needed proof that Chef Robert was a serial killer. Well, as it happens, three women who have been known to have carnal knowledge of the philandering chef have disappeared, according to police reports, without a trace. But thankfully, Jackal's cyber prowess has uncovered several unsettling clues that, coupled with an emerging psychological profile, indicate that Chef Robert is much more than just a, a cheating spouse. Hold your pop. Oh. Hi, Kate. Oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be able to come back into the office and hold Fetty's hand tonight. Something came up. It's literally a matter of life and death. What you need to do is stay out of what doesn't concern you. Oh, oh no, but, but I am concerned about Michael. The pressure of not telling what happened with Claudia is wrecking him. Don't you see that? Or is he just collateral damage and a bigger service to you? Why can't you just take yes for an answer? You're getting exactly what you want. I'm standing trial for Claudia's murder, and it's up to your precious justice system to do what they want with me. But, I, I, you know, Michael just needs to stay out of it. Mike, Michael's the one who saw you kill Claudia. It's, it's the only reason why he'd be so obvious about shutting him up. He wasn't there. Okay, you want to tell you what happened? I'll tell you what happened when I killed Claudia. I found the uh, car she had stolen from the hotel, abandoned on the side of the road. Uh, and then I saw tracks leading up to a cabin. When I got there, Carly and Claudia were there. Carly had just had her baby. Claudia was stealing the baby. Now, 
Carney couldn't stop her because it was a difficult labor, stressful night. So I did what I had to do, didn't want to, I killed Claudia. Now, at that point, we weren't having, you know, a lot of problems. I mean, what any normal marriage has, right? We could have worked through it. What I did not calculate was my own strength. I hit her. I hit her. I hit her hard. That part was an accident. Saving Carly and the baby. That was justified. So help me God. start with you telling us why. How much? Oh, I'm not sure. From the hangdog looks, I'm guessing it's a bundle. Oh, that hurts. Your knife wounds deeply. Why would you think every time I want to talk to you it has to do with money? Let me think, because you married me for my money? Well, that's ancient history. Since then, I have fallen crazily, deeply, intensely in love. Oh, please. What's up? All right, first, a disclaimer. This is all Luke's idea. I wouldn't have pulled you into it, so don't feel obligated. I've been eluding law enforcement since I was 15. Don't kid yourself. Immigration has nothing to mess around with. Immigration? Lucky was here earlier with a friendly warning. Yeah. Friendly if you don't get the part where he almost arrested me. It turns out that Dodge's visa has expired. Now, the only way for, for him to get a green card, well, the quickest way, of course, is to find him a wife. This is something I'm vehemently against. Well, it wouldn't be real. She would just be a cover. Actually, you would be perfect if you weren't already married to me. Easily fixed. What's this? Carly's favorite flowers? Favorite champagne? Mm -hmm. She set this up, didn't she? Yes, she did. Oh, I knew it. You did? Yeah, she's furious with me, but uh, she wants me back more than to be really mad at me. Well, that's what I thought at first. Look, I'm not um, kidding myself. I know this is not going to be easy. And Carly's impulse to protect Sonny's not going to disappear magically overnight. I know that. But you know, the fact that she went to all this trouble to set this up it is a really a step in the right direction. I'm impressed, really. Everything on track. Which is the way you wanted it. Wow. You look. Wow, I'm I'm at a loss for words. Thanks. You think Sonny will like it? 